Jones. I am a senior from Burke High School. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> and this poem is called Skin. Loving the skin you're in takes time. From the moment you realize that you were different to the moment you learn to embrace those differences like a sister. When I was younger, I believe, when I, uh, sorry, when the media portrayed on the television was my friend, I used to believe that white was right and that nothing came before or after that, meaning that I was insufficient and intolerable, worthless and undesirable. I laid in bed in the dark, arguing while my hair didn't flow with the wind. If my skin was too dark, why it easily became ashy when I forgot to use lotion, and why I was treated if I was dirt due to the color God envisioned me. I assumed that if I was born with porcelain skin, then my life would be brighter. I would be pretty and successful. I would be happy. Society's teachings were played in my heart and defined my mind, and even though everyone isn't perfect but unique, I was less than that. Too much for unique and too far from amazing, insufficient. I didn't love my skin. I remember sitting in class when my so-called friends were laughing at how their ancestors enslaved mine. Their words were like whips causing bruises, rendering my self-esteem powerless my identity worthless, I didn't love my skin. I remember constantly being told that I was the white black girl, knowing that it is the white girl that is proper and respected and the black girl that is repulsive, the black girl, the girl no one wants to be or act like. I remember accepting it as if it was a compliment because I didn't love my skin. But you see, there is nothing I can do about my color. Nothing I can say to you to stop interpreting the pigment of my skin from screaming thief, misfit, ghetto. Nothing I can do to convince you that one black person is not the spokesperson for all black people. And nothing I can do to convince you, to persuade to you that black is beautiful. Just because we are a minority does not mean that we are minor. Black is not a rebellious act. Black is not the back of the bus. Black is not a scream, but a silence. And black is not a color to be ashamed of. To be black is to be considered a colored individual, color meaning my skin, color meaning lively, lovely, radiant, luminous, black, a combination of all colors beautifully intertwined with each other. Do not tell me that black is a disgrace, meant to be loathed and lightened. I love my skin, because even though my skin is darker, it doesn't mean my heart is. <laughs>